Hi everyone, this is Nathan here from the ebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to give you a look at the new Kindle Cloud Reader. So Amazon just introduced this today in response to Apple's new rule. So this is the iPad, and Apple made this new rule where they had to, all um, in-app purchases had to give Apple 30%. So all the ebook apps, they took out the um, shopping link. So there used to be a shop link up here, and there used to be some shop links down here too. Um, so now there's no connection whatsoever to the Amazon store. Um, from the Kindle app. So in response to this, Amazon re releases an HTML5 app, HTML5 um, app, which is a web browser-based app that you can download for offline viewing on the iPad. And so the major difference with this is you got the Kindle Store icon up there, um, so you can shop directly uh, in the Kindle Store from this app. So otherwise, the app is very similar to the iPad app, but uh, you get this option right here where you can go in and you got the whole layout for. Um, shopping for books in here. You can just buy right now. Um, so that's how this works with that. Um, so like I said, the old app, you got they got rid of that. They got rid of the whole shopping. You can't shop at all from here. Um, otherwise, the, there's a few other subtle differences, but uh, they're mostly the same. So like this, the actual app, the um, iPad app has the page turns and it also has these the on-screen functions for highlighting notes and looking up words in the dictionary. Um, and it also has a search fu search function right here. So those are a couple of things that are actually missing with this cloud-based app. I um, imagine they'll be adding all those features to it here soon. They just probably wanted to get this out as fast as they could since Apple made them remove the store icon from their other app. So this is how the web-based app works. You've got different sorting options just like the regular app. You've got your recent title and author right there. Some different uh, options right there for the help. Um, and so when you open up a book works like this. It does take a little bit longer to load, I've noticed on this one. Um, so this one, it doesn't have the animated page turns, like I said, and it doesn't have the on-screen stuff yet. So, I mean, I imagine they'll be adding all that stuff soon. Um, you've got the, all the other features. You've got the different uh, font sizes and background colors. Uh, you've got the uh, navigation right here for going to the table of contents, uh, jumping to locations. And it also has the list of your notes and marks, but it doesn't have the ability to add them yet. So that's how the new um, Cloud Reader app for iPad works. And then um, down here you got the sync thing for using it offline. So you got the different options right here for viewing cloud and downloaded. So it's a web-based app, but you can download everything to view offline too while you uh, don't have an internet connection. So basically it just works. You just use a Safari browser and then you just um, go to read.amazon.com and it will um, give you the option here. So you can increase the amount of storage on the iPad and then you can just do it, go like this and then it will give you the prompt to... Um, Put a link on the home screen that's how you get the little icon on the home screen for the so it's like an actual app so uh, that's a look at how the new kindle cloud reader works on the ipad 2 check out the ebookreader.com i'll have some more details on there um, thank you for watching